In this video, I want to address sprint planning. Specifically, how long should it take? I get this question from a lot of Scrum Masters. How long should sprint planning take? Now, according to the Scrum Guide, sprint planning is limited to eight hours per sprint. Um, and what that means is if you run the maximum length sprint, which is one calendar month, you should expect to take about eight hours to plan that sprint. It doesn't mean that every sprint planning needs to be eight hours long. In fact, there's a really important piece of, uh, of, of intelligence. There's a really, really important gold nugget that is hidden inside that maximum of eight hours, and that's this. The length of sprint planning is really not what you should be worried about. It's, it, the length of sprint planning uh, is not important. It's a guideline, okay, that if you're gonna run a really, really long sprint, you know, up to one calendar month, that your sprint planning may take a day. Uh, and, and logically, if your sprint's less than one month, then your sprint planning should take less. But here's the problem. When people decide that sprint planning needs to take half an hour or an hour or two hours without regard to the length of the sprint, they're setting themselves up for failure. And let me tell you why. The length of sprint planning is not what's important here. It's the goals behind sprint planning that you should be concerned about. There are three goals in any sprint planning event. Goal number one, why are we running the sprint? And we call that the sprint goal. Goal number two, what backlog items do we need to take off of the product backlog and put onto the sprint backlog that will enable us, the team, to achieve the aforementioned sprint goal. And goal number three is, what is our plan for getting that work done? How are we gonna do that work? Those are the three goals in sprint planning. In some sprints, it may take you an hour and a half. In other sprints, it may take you two hours. Who knows? But my recommendation to you is worry less about the length of the sprint, worry more about the goals of sprint planning. Okay, so here's what you should do, okay? Number one, for your next sprint planning event, schedule enough time that you know you can do it right, that you can achieve all three goals, the sprint goal, the content of the sprint, and the plan for the sprint, okay? All of that together is what we call the sprint backlog. I want you to make sure you schedule enough time to get that done and maybe a little bit more. And yeah, when people complain, oh my God, sprint planning is four hours long. It's never been four hours long. What are you doing? When people complain, tell them simply this. Once we've achieved the three goals of sprint planning, the meeting ends. The event is over. So it'll probably be less than four hours if we stay focused on those goals. Okay. Step two, you get into sprint planning and you do just that. You focus everybody on those three goals. Goal number one, what's the sprint goal? Why are we running this sprint? Goal number two, what are the product backlog items that we, the developers, need to bring into the sprint to achieve the goal that we set for this sprint? And then finally, goal number three, what is the plan? What plan do we, the developers, need to create in order to get all this work done and achieve the sprint goal? Once all those three things are accomplished, sprint planning is over. We're done. The sprint begins, everybody goes to work, okay? So don't worry about the length of the sprint planning event. Don't, don't try to figure out how long it should be or how, how short it needs to be. I want you to focus instead on those three goals. You get sprint planning started, sprint goal, backlog item content, tasks, plan for the sprint, and then look at how long sprint planning took, okay? And if it took you an hour and 40 minutes, then you know what you do? You schedule the next sprint planning to be an hour and 40 minutes and see what happens. Or maybe roll it up to two hours. So like round it up to the nearest hour and see what happens. Once your team understands how to get sprint planning done, it'll get done faster and more effectively. If instead the team is focused on, we gotta be done in half an hour, then they're gonna do it wrong. They're gonna do it with poor quality and you're gonna regret it, okay? So, my advice to you, don't worry about how long sprint planning events are supposed to take. Worry about how your team is gonna do them right. Good luck.